Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Westbridge Hills map from the Titanium DLC. And I figured this episode we should uh, get working on some more grass for our cows and sheep and... Yeah, per just the uh, cows and sheep, I guess. That's really the only animals we have that uh, take grass, so... And I figured for that, let's uh, get course play uh, working on that. So, let's see what's here. What number of, oops, wrong way. What number of fields do we have here? 19 and 20. And we'll uh, speed up time just a little bit here. I believe we got all the crops planted, so we're just waiting for them to grow. We'll just detach that and leave that there for now. And what we're going to do, first thing first, we need to mark the field boundaries. So, probably should get that guy out of the way. It's going to be another one of those manual ignition businesses here. Yeah, we'll just leave him running. We will need him in just a moment. And really don't think it matters how we do this here because uh, first thing first of course we just need to drive around the field well there's really no field outline to drive around here so now the one thing I do have to keep in mind that uh, mixing stations there so kind of have to stay out of the way of that Let's see reset that <coughs> and start course recording I'm thinking I'm going to just make it one long course here. I don't see a reason to uh, divide this up into two fields. Not 100% sure how course play will take that with this uh, kind of like bend in it here, but we'll find out. And you don't necessarily have to use the tractor to do this either. You can do this with any vehicle you want. I just picked the tractor because I figured it's going to be the quicker, uh, quicker method. We've got a nice uh, wide piece of non-grass area here for some reason. Like, uh, that's the start point there. Make sure I line that up somewhat. And stop course recording, and I'm going to save that as... Oh, let's do grass field 1. It's actually fields 20... 
20, or 19 and 20, so it doesn't really make a difference though, because I got it combined as to one grass, about one big grass field here, so. Okay, we'll reset that, because we don't need you to actually have that. Well, we may actually need him to have that if we uh, load grass up with him, but. I'll say, where did he go? Couldn't see him over the uh, little rise in the hill there. Now then, let's uh, get course play going here. The first thing I always do, I always set that to left delete because I don't want to accidentally, uh, accidentally bump it when I'm driving around and that pops up. And that's you know, that's annoying. At least I find it annoying. There we go. And uh, first thing first, we need to load up the course we just made, which is grass field one there. We're gonna set them to up and down the field mode. And the working width, that is a good question. What is the width of that thing? Forty, nope, not, that's, uh, wrong one there. I'm gonna say 43 feet, nope, that's, uh, cutter bar, doesn't say. Okay, anybody's guess, I guess. Actually, I should say that probably does look like almost 40 feet, I'm just guessing here. Actually, sh I think it shows a, let's see, is it showing it? Should be like a, a bar that increases here. Ah, yeah, there it is. Back behind us there. So if we pivot that around and get that so it uh, looks like it's about the right width. Seventeen meters. Well, that looks probably about right here. Let's uh. Now from there, that doesn't look right. Maybe 13 meters? That would put it right about 40 feet, so that might be uh, what it is. And then we're going to start in the northeast corner. And we are going to go west. Uh, return to first point. Nope. Uh, headline deactivated. Let's uh, generate that course. And tell him to drive the course. And drive course. Let's see once what he does. That does not seem like the right uh, starting. Okay, and I th yeah, think it is. He just missed one because I was uh, over a little bit there. I think. I say he should have been over one more, but maybe not. We'll find out here. Well, that's fine if we miss a little bit too. We got uh, quite a bit of grass here, so definitely not the end of the world. And then let's go grab our. Let's see, who do we want for this? Probably the Farmall. No, not the Farmall. International. Keep getting that mixed up. Let's see, where is he at? I think he's at the farm here. Ah, yeah, there he is. I thought he was at the farm here somewhere. Keep uh, losing my tractors. And you know what, folks? It might be time to replace this thing. It's been a good uh, pickup wagon, but it is a little bit, uh, a little bit small. Not, not bad. But the uh, main problem is it's also heavy, so it really limits the tractors I can use to pull it. And so far this is the basically the best tractor I've found to pull it. I would imagine that John Deere probably would do alright with it as well.
Also, the Ursus doesn't do too bad with it. It's uh, mainly the trouble backing up when I gotta back up to that mixing station there, and it's yeah, just a little bit of a hill, and that makes it a little bit tough. Whereas with this tractor, I don't have too much problem at all. Backs right up, it doesn't do any uh, rear end popping up and down, and front end popping up and down, or any of that uh, funny stuff. Is he coming back yet? Uh, looks like he actually probably is. And I could course play this as well, because I can just use the same uh, course, use the uh, grass field one. Basically, I'd set it up exactly the same way. Just uh, load up grass field one, and uh, generate a course that's uh, 13 meters wide same uh, starting point and direction and away he would go but then you'd also want to add a second course actually be a third course at that point to uh, for him to unload which is the basically the problem I have right now I cannot get Tim to uh, well, actually I might be able to with the grass here because this is grass it's always the straw I have trouble with I might be able to get him to uh, unload with the, the uh, grass here Probably not though, because he's got to back up that little bit of hill, and that probably would never work. I'm a little bit curious why he started there, not, uh, unless I had him too far over. That's the only thing I can think of here. So it looks like he basically skipped a whole, at least a whole row over here, if not two rows. But maybe that has something to do with the way course play generated the field, too, because I got that little bit of your know, curve in there. I may have actually been better off generating as two separate courses for each field, but yeah, we'll find out here. Oh, and we're full almost already, just a little bit more. That does a little bit more. And I probably should uh, empty our mixing station out as well. It is full again, which is, I think that's 100,000 uh, liters of mixed rations. It's always fun when you can see uh, two tractors working on the field at the same time. And yeah, course play is definitely a good mod for uh, allowing that to happen. Really a powerful tool, allows a lot of different uh, crazy stuff you can do with it. Now stuff that you normally can't, or normally that farming sim doesn't allow you to hire workers for, or any of that stuff. So otherwise you're always stuck with uh, doing this grass by yourself, you gotta mow it, and you know, all that good stuff. Same thing with straw, you gotta pick straw up by yourself. Uh, same thing with manure, can't hire workers for that. A lot of different stuff you can't hire workers for that uh, course play allows you to not really hire workers for, but uh, means you don't have to do it yourself at least. While well, that's empty, I'm going to grab our tipper here. I'm pretty sure I left it here yet anyway.
Tipper, 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 no tipper. No, oh, no, we do have a tipper. Okay. I say, I didn't think I put it anywhere. And that gives me an idea, too, that uh, I'd have to either empty that conveyor belt or get another one, and I can hook that up to the silage there, rather than having to uh, bucket it. I could uh, just pull this tipper up underneath it. I'm pretty sure it holds a uh, silage, and then I'll bring it over to the mixing station that way. So this thing holds, uh, what is it, 24,000, I think it is again. Which is basically five times the size of that bucket. Oh, is that the... Actually, full of grass? Ah, oh, it is full of grass. Okay. Not silage, though. Needs, uh... Yeah, always low on silage. May have to give that a try here. I'm not sure what it takes to empty that uh, conveyor belt. Well, obviously, I could probably uh, just pull my uh, manure spreader back underneath of it again. Dump the excess in there. I would uh, think that would work. Of course, uh, then again, stuff I think should work doesn't. So, just uh, like last episode with that uh, pressure washer, power washer, whatever you want to call it. After I got done with the episode, I played around with a little bit more. I haven't tried it on another map yet, so I'm gonna have to do that yet. But I did play around with it a little more, reset it, uh, pushed it around, tried driving a uh, different tractor up to it. Nothing doing. So not sure what's wrong with it. The only thing I can think of uh, is a mod conflict. So Because, like I said, I've used it before and it's worked, so I used it for that uh, Colossus Combine, that uh, John Deere Cedar, and probably uh, there's only two that come to mind off the top of my head. Let's see, what's our mower guy doing? He is still uh, on the field there somewhere, so we'll leave him to it. Definitely did not take him along to... Oh, he's just finished. Okay. Well, that answers our question right there. Definitely did not take him long to uh, mow that field, that's for sure. It's going to take us longer to pick it up than it will him to mow it. Thinking what we're gonna do, we'll take uh probably don't need to actually bring any grass to the sheep for right now. I'll uh, check our PDA on that and make sure, but I know the last uh, bit we brought there was good for six days, so what do they have? Feeding trough, eight thousand eight thousand grass. So okay, they should be good for another two or three days yet, I would think. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, we're going to take well, whatever grass I have left. Yeah, like I said, we'll take whatever grass we have left and we'll uh, dump it over in the biogas plant. A 
We'll uh, take care of that John Deere here in a minute. We got uh, probably one more load of mixed rations in the mixing station yet, so I'm just a guessing the cows are going to hold all of this. Cows pretty much burned through a tipper load a day of this uh, mixed rations, so if not, probably actually a little better maybe. I never paid real close attention how much, but I know I filled up, I think I fill it up at least once every day, so I don't necessarily do it on screen every time, so seems like it usually happens at night while I'm waiting for the crops to grow and I'm watching the uh, watching the feed and it's like, eh, it's going down, going down, oh, I better fill it. Should be the last full load we can get out of here, I believe. I don't think it has any more mixed up than up than that yet. Because it does take a while to uh, make them extractions. This isn't uh, instant here. Okay, and that'll be the last load of mixed rations for the cows. They should be uh, loaded up well now. A hundred and fifteen thousand mixed rations. Eh, probably getting close. They might need some more straw again as well. That's a, a funny place for him to stop, seems like. And we'll just drive him back up to the other end of the field then, I guess. I'll have to say one thing I do love about this is those mirrors are really cool on here. Really like to see that on more mods. Of course, that's probably all a graphical hit for the game, so you start having this on all the mods and it'll probably uh, start running quite poorly. Yeah, hopefully uh, Farming Sim 2015 comes out, we'll maybe see a better graphics engine, we'll see a lot better graphics. Essentially, uh, 2013 here and 2011, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the graphics. Pretty much, uh, at least in my opinion, look the same about, so... Okay, we'll just park him up there. Now let's see, you'll probably take a little bit more grass now, I imagine. Not a lot, though. Okay, we'll just take a trip down to the biogas plant then and empty this out. And what I'll do, I'll try to make sure I remember to save a full uh, load in this wang when I'm all said and done. I won't empty the last load out into the biogas plant. We'll uh, save it. Now that that uh, mixing station is empty, it uh, will be need more grass here pretty quick. So probably we should have gone the other way. Oh well. I will 
check. Do we have uh, liquid manure in there? Uh, looks like we have a little bit. Yeah, I'll just dump it in this uh, first one here. Oh, it's funny, we're compacting even though we're not actually on any of it. That's cool. And if I thought we need more grass, I'd probably come back and finish up that little bit there, but uh, we definitely don't need more grass, so. Yeah, we'll probably get another uh, row done here. It'll be almost full, so... Like I said, we'll have to look at replacing this thing. Probably not this episode, but... almost to the end, so probably not quite a full load off this one. Of course, that first one there was just a little bit long because we had that starting point on it too, so... 87%. Basically, just for some uh, rough numbers here, we basically have another two loads after this load yet, so... Almost and full. Take the next road here this time. I think it's just a little bit quicker. We don't have to go all the way around that way.
Ah, six percent, yeah. Now we might get enough in there to actually blanket this silo. And while we're going up and down the field, nothing to do here. I'd just like to mention two uh, for uh, Agriculture Center 2013 and Pro Farmer. Yeah, I've been using a bandy cam there to record those episodes, and I've been having nothing but audio trouble with that. Not entirely sure what to do about that either, because it you know mixes the audio in, and there's really nothing I can do to separate it. So. In addition to that, too, and if I, uh, when I look at it, my, I think it's got something to do with my editing software. I might have to play around with that. It seems like when I listen to it in the preview, it sounds fine. At least I don't notice anything wrong with it, and I don't listen to the whole thing either. I should uh, put that down as a disclaimer. Kind of just uh, scrub the audio track, and it's like, okay, listen a little bit here, listen a little bit there. That sounds good. That looks good. And I'll just kind of listen to a, about a minute. You know, every five minutes or so, I check and it's like, okay, that's good, that's good. So yeah, I don't listen to the whole thing, I will say that much. But, uh, yeah, it seems like it always sounds fine, I don't know, it's nothing wrong. But then, yeah, the one video I rendered it, like, sounded good. And the preview, once I rendered it, uploaded to YouTube, and the audio was gone. So, and that might have been YouTube's fault, too. I'm not sure if that was mine or YouTube or my, uh, edit, or my finished video. Not sure what exactly what happened there. But yeah, re-rendered that one, re-uploading that one was good. But yeah, I still need to maybe play around with the settings yet or something. I'm not sure what uh, what to do about that yet. Yeah, I don't have any of uh, those issues with fraps, so that's uh, that's a good thing anyway. But then again, fraps uh, cannot record Anger Sim 2013 with fraps for some reason, so it kind of uh, limits that. Or eliminates that option, I should say. And I can record uh, Pro Pharma with fraps, but uh, gee, Pro Pharma just takes such a massive FPS hit from fraps. It's uh, ridiculous, so not sure what it is about Bandicam, but I do not have that massive FPS hit with uh, Bandicam, so... Probably don't want to empty all this out. Maybe leave 
25% or so. That should be enough space to pick up the rest of the grass we have left there, hopefully, and then, yeah, we'll save that. We'll uh, save that for the uh, mixing station. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Probably actually should have uh, saved a little bit more yet. Yeah, if we ever need more grass, though, we still got this uh, bit of unmowed grass here, and there's yeah some bit of unmowed grass up there as well. So. Yeah, I noticed it uh, mowed all that down there, so I'm not sure why it didn't uh, start up here. The only thing I can think of, I didn't have it. Uh, thought it was closer to that start point rather than the actual start point. If that, uh, if that makes sense. Probably don't. Folks, I think we'll uh, call it an episode here. I will probably uh, end up dumping that into the mixing station at some point uh, during the night while I'm waiting for the crops to grow. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.